cascade seven with two clubs. Gives Gavin an inside straight draw, but the action is first on the big dragon with his aces. 450. David has bet 450,000. And what is Griffin thinking here? All in. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh, he's done it. He's moved all in. He's quickly called by David Tran. You got way the best of it, sir. No, you are right about that, Gavin. That's an understatement. Now, Gavin needs a five to make a straight. That would give him a winner. He catch a running combination of two cards that are a six or a four. He'll also win the pot. But right now, the young 26-year-old pro is up against it. Good bet size, yeah. David. He does have some outs. Over $4 million in this pot. Queen of Diamonds on the turn. Not helping Gavin. Gavin Griffin must catch a five to win this pot and in this tournament right now. What a chance for David Tran to double up, get right back in the hunt. Here we go to the river. Put a four out there to make it a little more interesting. Here comes the river card. It's a seven, pairs the board. All right, the big dragon puts a fire back in his head. He wins this pot, doubles up, and now, just that quick, is sitting on over four million in chips. So Vince, this thing is far from over. They're going after millions here in Atlantic City. Stay tuned. We'll come back with more action in just a few moments. Welcome back to the WPT. We're at the Pagata Poker Classic. Heads up action continues. And right now, 26-year-old Gavin Griffin out in front with close to 11 million. Gavin's got the chip lead, but he misplayed that last pot, Vince. He was a dominating chip leader. He ended up doubling the guy up in the last hand, and if David Tran doubles up one more time, he'll once again be the chip leader in this heads-up battle. Back to the action here. Gavin with a queen four has moved it up to 200,000 to go. And Big Dragon looking down at a 9-10. Call. He calls. So neither player giving up a hand in this heads-up battle. Here's the flop. It's an 8-4 deuce. Gives Gavin a little pair of fours. Actions check. on David. He checks it. Gavin is going to check the fours as well. I'm very surprised he would check the second pair in this situation. How can you give your opponent a free card here that could beat you? Turn card is a three of clubs. Well, David Tran saw his opponent check on the flop. So he's going to take a stab at trying to steal this pot right here, it looks like. 320. And indeed he is. He's betting 320,000 with just a 10 high. Got to admire the courage, but that could fade quick because Gavin with a quick call there with his fours. Well, Gavin still got second pair. Just doesn't believe that David's got that much. He is out in front right now with the two fours. Good instinct so far. River card coming up. Nice pot building. And it's a six of hearts helping neither player again. Now well, puts a four card straight on the board. David Tran realizes the only way he could possibly win this pot is to bet the ten high, but... When your opponent raised it before the flop and called you on the turn, tough to do, but David the Big Dragon Tran is reaching for chips. <laughs> 950000 He is going after it. Oh, folks, this takes a lot of heart here. Almost a million dollars with zip and pip. That's what he's doing. And now Kevin with his measly fours. Well, he's studying this flop, Vince, and what he's saying to himself, would this guy really bet if he had two pair or three of a kind or any kind of strong hand in this situation, unless it was specifically a straight? He'd have to be afraid I had a five in my hand where I had a straight. So in Gavin's mind, I believe he's going to put him on a straight or absolutely nothing. Now let's see if he can decipher it and put him on the nothing part. Well, if Gavin should make this call, this would break the heart of the big dragon. He's worked so hard on his hand fighting for this pot. But look at this. He's going to get called. Well, that's why they